Coach Rich checking in with the 101. Good afternoon, high school coaches, athletes, and parents. What I'm going to talk about today, it may ruffle a few feathers, um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, parents, don't allow your kids to play travel seven on seven in the summertime. As a high school coach, it's hard to tell a kid that he can't do something. So the parents have to be on board with it. Um, when I ran my seven on seven, it ended, ended in uh, April. That way my kids can get back to their respective high schools for spring practice and spend the whole summer with their team. Summertime is not for travel seven on seven. The summertime is for bonding with your teammates and working out with your team and getting prepared for the season. So anybody that's running travel seven on seven during the summer, man, they're not looking out for the best interest of the kids. I just, you know, I just think back on it when I ran mine, I think I would like to say I ran it the right way, but I think that's the right, right way to do things. Um, as a travel seven on seven coach, you should have enough respect for the high school coaches that's allowing their, their kids to play with you. And it's not so much that, that they're allowing their kids, but their parents are. Because like I said earlier, it's kind of hard for high school coaches to dictate what a kid can and can't do without without their parents being on board. So um, let's uh, think about that. Any questions, just comment on my page. Coach Riz, out of there. Don't be out of there yet. Call him on his page, and I want you to hit him real quick. He's the bomb, all right? And guess what? We ain't hard to find. <laughs> yes, sir. Skull buffs.